In this episode of Prep School, we're talking brain health. The foods to eat, like this 20 minute creamy tomato salmon skillet, and the things to do to keep your brain sharp as you age. Let's get started. When it comes to what to eat to keep your thinker in tip top shape, turns out it's a no brainer, pun intended. What's good for the rest of your body is good for your brain too. And this 20 minute skillet dinner is a winner with omega-3 rich salmon, veggies like zucchini and onion, whole grain brown rice, and just a little bit of creaminess to bring it all together. So we are gonna get started on our prep for this salmon skillet recipe. And we're gonna start by cutting up our veggies. So this is just one medium zucchini. We'll cut that little top off here. And then we're gonna cut it in half and do a little half moon cut. So right down the middle. So when it comes to eating for brain health, research shows that prioritizing plant-based foods and eating a little less meat and less processed foods can go a long way. And by doing so, you will both have better brain functioning and also a reduced risk for brain-related diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia. And while we know that food can't prevent those sorts of conditions totally, there is research out there that says that they are protective against those conditions. So we are just gonna go ahead and pop our half moon zucchini here into a bowl. Okay, and then into the same bowl, we're gonna go ahead and chop a white onion here. We need about half of a cup. Do a basic chop. Halfway down here. Some other slits. And then we get to chop. And that looks pretty much like a half cup to me. So in it goes. So we could pop this into the same bowl. All right, so now that we have our veggies out of the way, we're gonna move on to our salmon prep. And I like to do it in this order so that by the time it comes for the salmon, I won't need to chop anything else on here and I can just go ahead and put it over to the sink without cross contamination. What I have here is one and a quarter pounds of salmon and this is gonna feed four people. Now, this calls for uh, skin off salmon, and to save yourself some time and the hassle, you can go ahead and ask the fishmonger to do that at your grocery store, but it's also really easy to get the skin off. It seems more intimidating than it is, but I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So, to skin your salmon, I like to get a piece of paper towel to keep my hand kinda from getting too sticky. I'm gonna pop it right on top of the salmon here and just put a little pressure down. And then with a nice sharp knife, just putting pressure down on the top of the salmon, I'm just gonna run my knife really close to the skin and just slice it over. If there's any remaining skin, we can go ahead and kind of trim that off. But it's usually comes out pretty nice. So let's, hopefully I'm not jinxing myself here. But just a little pressure on the top of the salmon and just start slicing. And it should come right off. There you have it. Makes for a great dog treat. And now that I have my paper towel out here, I'm just gonna go ahead and pat the salmon dry. And by doing this, when we put it in the skillet, a nice dry piece of salmon means that the salmon's less likely to stick on the bottom of the skillet. And that is exactly what we want. So it comes off easily and doesn't break apart. Okay, and also while we're here, I'm going to go ahead and cut this into four pieces. And so to do that, I'm gonna cut it in half first. And then I get my two equal halves and I'll cut them in half one more time. So while the research does show that prioritizing plants is great for your brain, there are certain animal-based products like salmon, which is really high in healthy omega-3 fatty acids. That's the kind of fat that our brain loves and research shows can help decrease inflammation in our brain and overall be protective. So our salmon is cut into four equal portions and we went ahead and gave it a nice pat with our paper towel to get rid of any extra moisture. And now we're gonna season it. And we just need a little salt on these guys. So while we know the foods that help for brain health, plant-based foods, lots of fruits and veggies, heart healthy fats like the ones that you find in salmon, 
There are certain foods and lifestyle factors that aren't helpful when it comes to brain health. Not that you have to cut them out totally, but cutting back on them and prioritizing more of those good for you brain foods can help boost brain health in the long run. So the things to eat less of, alcohol and added sugars. And of course you can have your piece of chocolate at the end of the night if you want to, but the problem with added sugars is that they sneak in everywhere from bread to cereal. It's just really easy to eat too much sugar. We also talked about eating a little less meat, and that's because the saturated fat that you find in animal products can, over time, cause plaque buildup in the brain. So you think about plaque buildup in our heart and our arteries. It can The same thing can happen in our brain. So eating a little less and eating more of the healthy fats, like omega-3 fats you find in salmon, can help reverse some of that. And additionally, it's really important to get enough sleep move your body and aim to stress as less as you can to help boost brain health. So before we head over to the stove, I'm just gonna go ahead and open my can of diced tomatoes. I have no salt added diced tomatoes here. And also cream cheese. This is what gives the dish that creamy, lovely texture that we love. We only use about two ounces, so a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dice up two ounces and that makes it easier to incorporate it into the sauce. So let's head on over to the stove and get cooking. We are gonna start here by turning our stove onto medium high heat. And we're gonna go ahead and add one tablespoon of oil to the skillet and let that heat up. So once that skillet is hot, we're gonna go ahead and add our salmon and we're gonna cook for about three to four minutes until it easily releases from the pan. So you can go ahead and check and see if it releases easily. It's getting there, it needs a little longer. And if it is, feels like it's hard to come up, let it cook for a little bit longer. Once that salmon is flipped, we're gonna cook it on the other side for another few minutes until it's done. All right, so we flipped the salmon and cooked for a few more minutes and we have that lovely golden brown crust now. We can kill the heat for now and we're gonna transfer the salmon to a plate. So now we can turn the skillet back on to medium high heat. We're gonna add a re that remaining tablespoon or so of oil to the pan, and in go our veggies. We're gonna allow this to cook for about three or so minutes until they start to soften. So now we can go ahead and add our one third cup of white wine to the pan and turn up the heat just a little bit to medium high. We'll let that cook until the wine's evaporated. Once the wine has mostly evaporated, we can go ahead and add in our canned tomatoes, as well as our cream cheese. And now we can go ahead and pop in our spices, which is a teaspoon of Italian seasoning a half a teaspoon of garlic powder, the remaining one eighth teaspoon of salt, and then we'll also crack some pepper in here. And go some pepper. Now we can stir this until it comes together. Once the sauce comes up to a simmer, we can go ahead and add our salmon back in here and just coat it with the sauce. And now is the best part, it's time to dig in. So to help round out the meal, I am gonna serve this 20 minute creamy salmon skillet with some brown rice. So this will be our whole grain, which is another brain boosting food. And for convenience, because during the weeknight, sometimes 20 minutes even feels too much, I just went ahead and picked up one of these uh, pre-cooked rice packets, which is super convenient. And we'll just add some to my plate here. Hot. Next up, our salmon. I get a little bit of the veggies first. I'm gonna go for this lovely piece. And the very last step is we're gonna add some fresh basil on top. Yum. 
That looks delicious. And there you have it, our 20 minute creamy tomato salmon skillet. And if this is what eating for a healthy brain looks like, count me in. I'm gonna take a taste. A little salmon, a little rice, and this lovely creamy sauce. Ready? Mmm. That salmon is cooked perfectly and the zucchini is just tender enough and that silky sauce really brings it all together. It's delicious. You can read more about eating for a healthy brain and get so many more delicious recipes on eatingwell.com. If you make this 20 minute salmon skillet dinner, be sure to take a photo and tag me on Instagram. Thanks so much for watching, happy cooking, and I'll see you guys next time on Prep School.